Hello, internet. Um, welcome back. Today, I thought we could try something like different, something cool. Like, have you ever been trolling around on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram, and you come across like, you know, a recipe or some sort of cooking hack or food hack? And you thought, I wonder, like, if that is that really gonna work, or if I do that, is it gonna turn out that way? So I thought it would be really fun to test some of the things out, like some of the trendy, um, most pinned, funny things. So today we are going to do um, rainbow grilled cheese and see if it actually like will come out a rainbow. Um, unfortunately, I don't have some really cool, sorry, I'm trying to get the instructions. I don't think this is going to be difficult, but I mean, you never know. I don't have cool colors. I just have like your standard <laughs> red, yellow, and green, but at least we'll see if this works. Like if, when you do, oh, my bread's a little broken. <laughs> okay. Well. We're just gonna have to make do. All right, so according to the directions, you take cheese. Let's see here, how do I need to do this? Let's go like that for a second. And you color each one differently. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing is you have to use a lot of food coloring. So, not so fun. And it's much easier using a fork than it was using a spoon to like mix it and really get the colors going. So I have um, green, which I don't know, it didn't come out that great. Now the yellow. Yellow's doing awesome, but I think that's because the, the cheese is kind of already yellow, so. I would definitely recommend doing at least a yellow if you're gonna try this. All right, let me get my last one mixed up. All right, so I've got all of my colors mixed up. Red, which came out like super vibrant and awesome. Like I said earlier, the yellow does obviously very well. Um, the green, I could probably put more in it and it would, cause I can still kind of see some of the white and yellow in it, but I've already used a lot. So that is one thing I will say is you have to use a lot of, uh, food coloring, which if you had like food, like the coloring gel, it might work better. I just have obviously like the super cheap, um, you know, like the dollar thirty nine Food City brand, so that's what we're rolling with. All right, I'm gonna wear a glove just because I do not want to have like insane hands later. What's this bad boy going? I've already buttered um, my bread, so you would need to do the same, just like with any normal grilled cheese. And let's just cross our fingers that this stays together. I didn't realize I had like a broken bread. Okay, so according to the directions, what you do is you line the colors, each cheese up separately so that it cooks separately, I guess, and gives you like rainbow. Actually here, you know what? I've got I want to start over. Hold on. I'm like, I just had an epiphany. I want to do something different. I'm going to do small amounts and try to do two of each and really see if we can get the rainbow effect. All right, so some green. Some yellow and some red. And then we'll 
just repeat. Oh man, I should have done white instead of yellow and we could have like an Italian flag. I can feed it to Johnny. <laughs> like, here you go, my little Sicilian. Enjoy your flag sandwich. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it will just because I've seen it everywhere. Okay, so. Our pan seems hot enough, I guess. Let's drop it in here, see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm like literally losing all the cheese. Come here, come here, come here. All right, so I'm gonna give that a minute and let it get toasty and then we'll flip it and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, let's see how this little bad boy is doing. Mm, not yet, not yet. Are you excited? I'm excited. I think it's gonna work. So, like I was saying, I see these things on like Pinterest and whatnot. Actually, I feel like I see them more on Facebook, like with the little 30 second videos and I don't know, just so much random stuff on the internet these days. So I thought that it would be fun to maybe do something like this. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do it like once a week, a couple times a month, and call it the recipe test. Recipe test, recipe test. <laughs> I thought that would be super fun. Then you all get to find out if something works, and I get to try new things. It's a win-win. All right, so a couple more minutes and we'll be ready to go. Right. I think we are good and toasty. Yay. Should I do the pull apart test? Is that how we want to do this? I think I at least need to cut the sides a little bit. I can get a good, clear, like, pull apart when I gotta do it. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, like a double. cheese factor I expected. Maybe I didn't use enough. I don't know. I used kind of a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah. It worked. I think I messed up the doing like six little sections instead of three big ones. But as you can see, da 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 da. Rainbow grilled cheese. So yes, it it works. So it passes the the recipe test, I guess you could say. Um, no, I'm not gonna try it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really. One, I don't. Me and Dairy don't get along. And two, this is just I don't know. Looking at this weird colored cheese is not doing it for me. So I just I'm gonna have to say pass. But now you know it works. So if you wanna make it for yourself and eat some rainbow grilled cheese, uh, do so, have fun. And I hope that if you do make them that like tag me or send it to me so I can like see it. Cause I would love to see like what kind of colors you used or if yours turned out like better than mine. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you will enjoy our future recipe test. And if you have any ideas for, 
you know, anything that you want to see or see if it works or how, like, how easy it is to execute, um, you know, send me something on Instagram, comment on my Facebook page, comment on this video, and I'll try to do that. And so, until next time, 